Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. Flanked by Clark County's top sheriff, Joe Lombardo, former President Donald Trump called Nevada a cesspool of crime while in Vegas on Friday. But we're now finding the numbers don't back up a statement. Review Journal's Renee Semrauer explains. That's right. Trump was on the strip for a campaign event on behalf of Lombardo, who is running for governor and U.S. Senate candidate and former attorney general Adam Laxalt. The event focused on law enforcement policy and much of Trump's speech centered on criticizing Nevada and the nation as in shambles. Organized mobs are pillaging small businesses. Chicago is a war zone. Trump painted a picture of a crime riddled silver state. Nevada is a cesspool of crime. But the rate of violence and property crime in Clark County has gone down almost every year since 2015, according to the Metro Police Department data. Lombardo taking credit for that since becoming sheriff in 2015. And crime data in Clark County closely mirrors the trends seen in other major metropolitan areas. Violent crime went up in 2020 and dipped in 2021, while property crime dipped in 2020 during the pandemic, but has since gone up since 2021. Now to an update on Monday's explosion in Boulder City. Out of the six people injured, the family friend says Eddie DeGangi is the most seriously hurt. He remains hospitalized today while his wife Nikki, who also worked at the Armo Rock Polymer Concrete Facility, is unable to work. Their loved one set up this GoFundMe page to help with expenses. And a look at a one-of-the-kind training session in North Las Vegas today on how to prevent and respond to radiological and nuclear terrorist attacks in Las Vegas. Review Journal's James Schaefer has more. So we're going to sweep this facility here, right? All areas are in play. In a week-long intensive training course provided by the Counterterrorism Operations Support and the Nevada National Security Site teams, the training for preventing and handling a terrorist attack with radiological or nuclear weapons was underway in North Las Vegas. So talk to me. First team, what'd you find? The in-person training is designed so that participants receive only minimal radiation exposure, the equivalent of an x-ray test with participants using and operating radiation detection equipment throughout the course. It's, it's true that they did today. A, a normal, regular police officer on patrol is going to bump into radiation in the course of his duty, so it will be more like an accident. This is the armor team, so their response is specific to this type of hazard, chemical, biological, radiological. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Shiver. And Lifestyle, sponsored by Visit Laughlin, an easygoing getaway filled with good food, good people, and good times on the river. The second busiest air carrier at Harry Reid International Airport will soon begin service to San Antonio. This is part of Spirit Airlines' larger Texas expansion after Austin, Dallas, and Houston. The discount air carrier San Antonio route starts at $89 one way, November 17th. Spirit is also in a merger bidding war between Frontier Airlines and JetBlue. Plus, we're now learning about a pair of six-figure jackpots hitting the same casino over the weekend. Caesars Palace says one patron won $125,000 Friday on the 50-play video poker machine. Then another person won $100,000 Saturday at a top dollar slot machine. In Weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. With a storm front moving through Arizona, there's a small chance some of it may reach the Las Vegas Valley. Just a 4% chance of some drizzle with temps in the triple digits, which should bottom out to the 80s. On Thursday, a partly cloudy day with a high of 107 and low of 87 degrees. Some mild breezes and a 15% chance of rain. On Friday, the skies should clear with possibly some light sprinkles before clearing out for your weekend. In Business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. The local convention industry is getting ready for a wardrobe change with the return of Magic Las Vegas, a fashion and celebrity-filled convention coming up next month. Fashion-forward celebrities like Katy Perry will be leading the show, showing off new trends and up-and-coming collections. And they'll all be kind of speaking on how to do social media marketing and kind of putting a brand and all things fashion. The convention will run from August 8th through the 10th. 
Across the U.S., inflation reaches a 41-year high this year. Consumer prices reportedly soared more than 9 percent in June compared to a year ago, with surging gas, food and rent costs. The biggest yearly increase since 1981. Sports brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. The Battle for Vegas returns for its third year on Monday. The softball showdown will once again see the Raiders and Golden Knights duke it out for bragging rights of the city. The Raiders have won the last two games, so event host and team captain Riley Smith is hopeful his team will finally get a win. It's got to be the year. We can't go 0-3. So. We're excited for the challenge. Um, obviously, the, the competition side of it is a lot of fun and a lot of fun for the fans. But I think, you know, the biggest winner is obviously giving back to community and having the, having the chance to, to really be able to um, give back and help financially support some of these children's charities is, is the most important goal here. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoky and Cigar Shop. Steelers linebacker TJ Watt is the 7-1 favorite at William Hill Sportsbook to win the 2022-2023 Defensive Player of the Year honors for the second straight season. Browns defensive end Miles Garrett and Rams defensive tackle Aaron Donald are each 8-1, followed by Cowboys linebacker Micah Parsons at 9-1. Raiders defensive end Max Crosby is one of the three players listed at 20-1. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital. We're here for you when you need us. Good news on your latest COVID metrics. Wastewater analysis shows signs of COVID decreasing or at least plateauing here in Southern Nevada, which means we may have already experienced the peak of the Omicron subvariant BA5. And happy birthday to the Cleveland Clinic's Lou Ruvo Center for Brain Health, turning 13 years old this month. Since opening, the center has conducted more than 100 clinical trials to advance new therapies for brain disorders. In entertainment, who knew July is National Ice Cream Month? And this upcoming Sunday will be Ice Cream Day. Here are some unique spots. Over in Tivoli Village in Summerlin, Milk Cow, Nevada offers soft serve. And to pair your ice cream with donuts, there's Yo Nuts in Centennial Hills. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you have Amazon Fire TV, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.